Good morning, dear children. This is Sheikh Asaf Ali, Fiji English, Jain Vyana Tapur, and I am here today with the topic of past tense. So, let us start. Now, we are going to learn past tense in English grammar with some examples and formulas. There are four past forms. The first one is simple past tense, then the past continuous tense, the past perfect tense and the past perfect continuous tense. There are 12 possible verb tenses, but uh, here we will deal only with this past and all this past infinite, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. Simple past tense. Try to understand. Try to understand my students. If you understand this, then the grammar will be easy for you. Simple past tense. The simple past tense, sometimes called the predicate, is used to talk about a completed action. It is about a completed action in a time before now. In a time before now. Just remember, completed action in a time before now. So the simple past is the basic form of past tense in English. So the term of the action can be in the recent past or the distant past and action duration, the duration is not at all important. So here stands the structure. It is subject plus V2 plus object. Again I repeat the structure subject plus V2 plus object. Simple past tense shows an action or activity completed in past. This was one of the things. Like he wrote a book and then I sang a song. And some examples are given here how this form changes like escape becomes escape, big, big, like that, glue, glue, phone, phone, hurry, hurry, copy, copy. Fry, fry, and try, try. Some examples for you to make the things comfort for you. Examples I saw a movie yesterday. I didn't see a play yesterday. Last year I traveled to Japan. Last year I didn't travel to Korea. Did you have dinner last night? She watched the car and he didn't watch his car. So here we have a uh, um, inculcated all the positive as well as negative forms of the sentences where we, uh, you people will not feel any kind of differences. So this is a work for you. So I am not going to deal with this. This is a work for you and uh, you have to go through it and our answers are given in the next slide. Here you can find answers and then once again the work for you is given here. Now, the next past continuous tense. There we have learned about simple past and now here we are going to learn about past continuous tense. So, definition stands like this. The past continuous, also what is past progressive, is a verb tense which is used to show that ongoing past action was happening at a specific moment of interruption or that two ongoing action were happening at the same time. Read on for detailed descriptions, examples and past continuous exercises. Okay, structure stands like subject plus was verb plus v4 plus object or v in plus object. Subject plus was verb plus V4 plus object. So here, an example, the past continuous. So I was watching TV when she called. That is past continuous. One more, John and Sarah were attending a meeting. Where there was. So some examples for you. She was not eating ice cream, was not eating, it's a negative form, were not taking dinner, they were not taking dinner. We were not finishing our work, 
and he was not attending the English language class. She was eating ice cream, they were taking dinner, we were finishing up work, he was attending the English language class, he was taking dinner and she was completing her work. This is a work for you. And these are the answers you can have a check over it. Now the next step is the past perfect tense. We have gone through simple past, past continuous, and now we are going to deal with the topic past perfect tense. The, so the past perfect tense is used to show that something happened before another action in the past. Something happened before another action in the past. Just remember it. And it can also be used to show that something happened before a specific time in the past. Specific time in the past. Now, the structure stands like this. Subject plus had plus V3 plus object. Subject plus had plus V3 plus object. Here are some examples. Past perfect tense. The form of the past perfect tense is had plus past participle of the verb. Okay, example. When we reach the school, the bell had already rung. When we re reach the school, the bell had already rung. Means the ringing of the bell happened first. Then the action took place. This is the verb for you. These are the answers you can make a trial answer on. And now, the past perfect continuous tense definition. The past perfect continuous is a verb tense which is used to show that an action started in the past and continued up to another point in the past. Structure stands like this subject plus had plus b plus v in or v fourth form plus object. Okay. Pass the book and just try to understand the picture, everything is given here. So the boy had been playing soccer for about an hour when it started to rain. So he was playing before the rain started. But now also he is playing, getting wet himself in the rain. Okay. So in the same way, the plumber had been fixing the water tap for two hours. From the past two hours he is fixing it and now also he is doing it. Then here are some examples followed by work for you and then the answers are here. You can have a check over it. Okay? And thank you being with me. Thank you.